Hi, nice to see you today. Thanks for joining us. We're going to do a nice warm warm up for the morning and I think you'll enjoy it. It's got a lot of flows in it and it's as efficient as possible. So we try to go through all the movements of the spine in a shorter time efficiently. Okay, so the first one I want you to watch carefully because this is a, a longish sequence. It's really nice for warming up the hips, especially if you've got any arthritis in your hips. Um, so you want to start out gently with this move, but watch it first. It's quite, uh, it's got quite a, a sequence here. Okay, so first you're going to breathe in and bring your arms to your favorite place for your body in the morning. And then as you exhale, you're going to squat. So this is a new pose. Just as if you were going to sit down. So you see, I'm, I'm leaning forward a little bit to balance, and my bum is tucking under just a little bit. Okay, that's the squat. And the arms come to rest here. Then we breathe in again, lifting the chest, but staying squatting. And then exhale, just sweep all the way that the arms come as far as they can to kind of a relaxed place. And you breathe in here. And then as you exhale, you can bring your hands to the ground or to your legs. It depends on your flexibility. And then as you breathe in, bringing your arms right to that place where they're comfortable so that don't have to adjust once you're up and lower the arms. Okay, so let's do it again together. And uh, we'll do this as sort of as a trial run and then we'll do it three more times. So breathe out to prepare, feeling grounded down into your feet. Breathe in, sweep the arms up to whatever height is good for your body. Pause. Exhale, you're going to squat. And the hands come down right at the end. Good. Inhale, lift your arms up again. In the squat, you're still squatting. Exhale, sweep forwards and let the arms go all the way uh, up towards the ceiling. Stay for the breath in. And exhale, lower your arms to either the floor or your legs, whatever's good for you. Breathe in, come up with arms that are suitable for you and your back and your shoulders. And then exhale, lower the arms. Okay. We're going to do that three more times. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Nice, clear pauses. Exhale, you're just going to sit down as if you were going to sit on a chair behind you. So quite naturally. Inhale, lift the chest a bit as you inhale. Exhale, you're straightening the legs as you Bend forward, sweeping the arms. Clear pause. Stay for the breath in here. And exhale, lower the arms to forward bend wherever's good for you. Inhale, come up with arms good for your lower back and your shoulders. That's it. And lower the arms slowly. Pause and relax. And again, inhale, sweep the arms up. Nice, easy breath in, hold, exhale, squat, good, your arms lower right at the end, they raise again as you breathe in, exhale, straightening the legs and then bending forward, sweeping the arms so that they're up, pointing towards the ceiling, stay for the breath in, exhale, lowering the arms, Clear pause. Coming up with the arms that are best for you and your body. Hold for two. And lower the arms. Relax in that pause. Last time. Breathing in. Sweep the arms up to a good place in your body. Nice, clear pause. Exhale, squat. There's always a soft jaw sound as we're practicing. So... And, oh, the arms lower at the end, and inhale, they go up again. Exhale, you're going to straighten the legs as you come forwards, and then bend forwards in that forward bend, the arms sweeping up 
behind you. Nice shoulder opener. Stay for the breath in. When exhale, lower the arms. Clear pause. And inhale, come up. So that's exhale, lower the arms. And that's four repetitions. Nice warm up for the hips, and of course, you want to really take it easy to start out. So we're going to do an open twist, and in an open twist, we stand with uh, one foot forwards and the other foot out at a right angle, and the body is facing towards the front. And so what we're going to do, oh, uh, So what we're going to do is the twist, and we're just going to be a little more efficient with it. We're only going to lower the arms at the end. So watch carefully. It's going to look like this, grounding down through the feet, inhaling your arms to nice shoulder height. Exhale to one side, turn the head left. Inhale, come up with a straight back, clear pause, nice and centered. Exhale to the other side, clear pause, turn the head left. Clear pauses at the end. Inhale, come up, hold for two, and then exhale, lower your arms. So we will do four sets of that. And so you can do it nice and easy to start with. Maybe get a little more intense and then back off. Always suit your yoga to your energy of the day. So legs are leg length apart. They're pointing forwards. <clears throat> exhale to prepare. Inhale, your arms come to shoulder height. You're going to exhale, bend and twist to one side, turn the head last. And then inhale, the head turns, we come up and find that nice center spot. And then exhale to the other side. Turn the head last. And inhale, come up. That's it. And then just exhale, lower the arms. And again, you might like to change directions. Exhale, turn and twist. Inhale, come up. Nice and easy for the shoulders. Exhale, bend and twist. Head is the last to go into the twist. And the head is the first to come out. And then exhale, lower your arms. Good. Again, inhale. I like to feel that grounding of my feet and my fingertips extending. Exhale, bend and twist. Inhale, come up. Don't forget those nice clear pauses. Exhale in the other direction. And using a soft ujjayi throughout this practice. Clear pauses, linking the movement, all the things you know. Last time. Last time, do the set. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come up. Nice, clear pauses. Exhale, twist. Hold for two. Inhale, come up, pause for two, and exhale, lower your arms. That's it, good. Take your time, step your feet together, always nice to take that moment for breath after each pose. And we'll do Chakra Vakasana now. Okay, in Chakra Vakasana, we have that nice, stable base. The knees are together and the hands are more or less under the shoulders. And we're moving our spine vertebrae by vertebrae first into flexion, and then into extension. So extension is kind of a back bend in the upper spine. So we'll do this six times. So you're gonna breathe out to prepare. Inhale, really lift the chest. Exhale, shift the hat, hips back, and the head comes last. Clear pause, and then inhale, lifting the head, lifting the chest, shifting forwards. So there's a real sequence. You exhale to go back. So the knees are coming in towards the belly and chest, supporting that exhale. Clear pause, and then the head starts the movement before 
You start to move your body forwards, the head lifts up. And exhale to go back. So it's this soft, sort of rhythmic, almost rocking movement. Easy, smooth breaths, soft ujjayi sound. Moving in the rhythm of your breath. I'm on the fourth one, finishing the fourth one. I'm counting with my fingers, pressing the index finger in the to the mat for that fifth breath. Finishing the last one, my second finger presses into the mat to let me know that's six. That's it. So I'm coming up, and we'll go into downward dogs. You might like to watch for a moment. We're going to do this, the sequence. We'll stay one breath the first time, two breaths the second time, and three breaths the third time. And just to remind you, when we go up into downward dog, we have that nice, firm uh, contact with our hands to the ground, the shoulders back and down, and X, inhale to prepare, and then tuck the toes, exhale, the hips lift us up, and we line up the spine between the arms, and there's a sense of lifting that tailbone, the legs are moving towards straight depending on your body, and the heels are moving down towards the ground without too much force. You might keep the legs a little bit bent if you're working on lifting that tail. After your smooth breath, you'll inhale, lift the head, lift the chest, drop the knees right down, and again, go right up for the two breaths, and then the third repetition is three. So let's all get into position. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, the toes tuck and the hips lead the way up. And there's a real sense that if you had a tail, it would be lifting right up into the air. Stay for one smooth breath. And we start the movement out just like before. We lift the head, lift the chest, drop the knees straight down. That's it. Clear pause and then exhale, tuck the toes again. Up you go for two breaths the second time. The firm contact of your hands with the ground. A sense of widening across the shoulders with the inhale. The heels gently moving towards the ground, just resting towards the ground almost. And then inhale, lift the head, lift the chest. Of course, you're in your own rhythm of breath. And the last repetition is for three breaths. We go up, tucking the heels under. Exhaling to go up. And this time, stay for three breaths. You're working on making those breaths nice and even. So you're counting the seconds of each inhale. Pause. Exhale. You want to feel a nice steadiness from your hands up to your tailbone and resting your heels down towards the ground. After the third breath, you can inhale, lift the head, lift the chest, drop the knees straight down. And usually, it's all right in our body, we'll rest a moment in child's pose. That's nice to do after downward dog, but you don't have to. It's personal preference. And we'll take a little break in Shavasana. So we're aiming to move through this practice fairly quickly so that it's very easy for you to take 20, 25 minutes out of your day to do this when you need it. Nice morning practice to start your day. So lie down on your back with any supports you need. And just tuning into the weight of your body on the ground. You can systematically do those eight points of stability silently on your own. Or you can just 
focus on unwinding, feeling the ground and releasing. That's it. You just want to let yourself soften and relax. And then a moment, several moments to focus on the chest as it moves while you breathe. Just noticing it. Another few breaths here. Okay, when you're ready, we're just going to bend up the knees one at a time towards the chest for apanasana. So one hand on one knee, the other hand on the other knee, the knees are together. We're drawing the knees towards the chest with the exhale, chin down, and inhaling as the knees move away. So go ahead, do your six breaths, nice smooth breaths. four to six breaths, so we're not in a hurry. We're just linking that movement to breath again after the relaxation, we're tuning into the breath again with a small movement, warming up the body a little bit, especially the lower back. Apanasana is such a therapeutic. Okay, and then we're going to do desk pose. And the desk pose is going to be arms of your choice, so you can leave them at your sides. You can um, put them out to the side, palm up, palms up, or you can start with them down, and as you roll up into desk pose, sweep them up. And I'll demonstrate that. So breathe out, to, you'll breathe out to prepare, and then as you inhale, if you are moving the arms, they move as you roll up the spine. And you're going to stay here for three breaths. So you want to use the finger counting method, exhale to repair, exhale. On the hold after exhale, you change fingers. And then after the third inhale, exhale, roll down. And then we're going to do the counter pose. So what we're going to be doing is alternating. So with the counter pose, you want to inhale the arms go up the leg straighten and exhale the arms come down. And of course you're finding that special place where your shoulders are relaxed, your elbows are on the ground. We'll do that three times, okay? So knees, so we'll start with our feet on the ground and we'll do the desk pose first. Arms of your choice. Exhale to repair. Inhale, roll up into desk pose. And exhale, stay. And again, you'll breathe in. Nice, smooth breath. And exhale, stay. And we're reaching the third breath. Inhale here. And exhale, if you've raised your arms, they're coming down. As you roll down, it's coming down together. If not, you can leave your arms by your side. Good. And then you just bring your knees to your chest one at a time. And then as you inhale, arms of your choice, sort of a nice, easy arm movement. And exhale, knees to the chest, arms down. That's a nice chest opener. So you're just nice and easy. You want the heels over the hips. And you're just moving in and out of Apanasana with the legs up. Nice smooth breaths, clear pauses. Three times. And then put the feet down. And then roll up into desk pose. When you're ready to breathe in, chin towards the chest. Arms of your choice. Exhale, stay. And you'll stay 
for another two breaths. Feel the chest moving towards the chin. On the exhale, you feel a little bit of a hollow mist in your belly, a scooping up towards your chest. And the feet are very stable. You feel the whole pad of the foot on the ground. And then exhaling, rolling down. And the knees to the chest when you're ready. And then inhale the arms up, legs up. Nice, easy place. If you need to keep your knees bent, you keep them bent. The idea is this is an inversion. So we're not necessarily maximizing the hamstring stretch. We're getting those feet and legs up in the air in a nice, easy way, Vital, revitalizing the system. And then the knees are coming towards the chest and off and off and kind of helping the exhale. Last time for desk pose, the feet go down one at a time. Arms of your choice, inhale to go up. If you're using, if you're leaving your arms at your side or out to the side, they can just stay there the whole time. You don't have to just sweep them around or anything. Three breaths. Nice, stable pressure into your feet. Three smooth breaths. And after the third inhale, Rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae through the spine. And then the knees can come to the chest. And again, three times. Inhaling, the legs go up. Exhale, knees to the chest. The knees are touching on the inside. There's a sense of pressure on the belly. Should, as much as possible, keep it easy if the feet are out of alignment with the hips it may make it a strain on the lower back. So just want to really keep those feet over the hips, even if you have to keep the legs bent to do it. That's it. And then just one foot down, the other foot down. Stretch out the legs one at a time. That's it. Good stuff. And relaxation. So we'll just take another couple of minutes to observe the body. Letting yourself Feel the weight of your body sinking into the ground. Maybe you're going through the eight points because you know them so well, or maybe you're just kind of moving around, noticing what needs to unwind, letting it go. And then bringing the attention to the breath, noticing the movement of the chest. Just taking a minute to feel the breath in the body. Just be aware. The attention moving into the chest. Another couple of breaths. Yes. And then take your time. We'll do our pranayama, the crown of the practice. You roll over your, onto your side, come to a seated position. For me, I'm comfortable on the floor if I have my support. There's absolutely no harm in using a chair so that you have a nice long spine. Or maybe, you know, it's hard on your knees to sit like this, right? Or that. I know sometimes if you have a a uh, bad knee or hip, one leg goes out, or even put both legs out like this. So really it's crucial that the um, spine feels as free as possible, as free and long as possible. And we are going to do 12 breaths of Ujjayi. So I'm going to just count them on my left hand. And it's nice, if you'd like, to take a slightly longer breath. So if you've been working in your practice with a count of four in, two hold, four out, two hold, you might try pranayama at a count of five. So counting 12 breaths, whenever you're ready, nice long spine, soft ujjayi sound, 
And I'm just switching fingers on the pause after the exhale. And my eyes might be turned downwards towards my chest, nice and easy. Just stay focused on that soft Ujjayi sound. Bringing your mind back to the movement of the chest as you inhale. Feeling in the belly as you exhale. Sinking into the heart feeling. And so you can slow down into the rhythm of your heart. Each breath just aligning you with that rhythm. Anytime you notice your mind wander, you just bring it gently back. It's okay. You just keep practicing. Just keep doing it. Take your time to finish, and when you're done, you can turn your hands, palms down. Once again, the inward gaze can be down towards your chest to observe the breath, to observe the space, the seat of the heart. Letting go now of the breath control and just letting the body move naturally with the breath. And taking another few breaths, whatever it takes to complete your practice. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. It's a great way to start it. See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.